Hey everyone, so I am back wanting to talk to you guys about this new Vera Bradley um, Harry Potter collab. This is the third one that they do in a matter of, I want to say a year, year and a half maybe. Um, the first one to come out was called Home to Hogwarts, the second one was Herbology, and this is their third one to launch, well, already having been launched this fall, and this is called this pattern is called Forbidden Forest, I believe, and the pattern that complements it is Forbidden Forest Ditsy. So here you can see that I have the bag. It's called the multi-strap shoulder bag. Yes, multi-strap shoulder bag, and this bag is, it's perfect. It's beautiful. It's the perfect daily carry. Um, you can carry a lot in here and when I show you guys what I have in here you will see but before I get into that I wanted to bring out the tags so I am sure what exactly I can make sure what exactly this is called yeah this is a multi strap shoulder bag in Forbidden Forest and it retails for $110 so any of the collaborations that Vera Bradley does with like Disney or Harry Potter so far those are the only ones that I I'm aware of aside from like other collaborations there is a price markup on the bags because of the collab so this one is $110 and I want to say regularly this bag retails for 90 but this is the first in cotton that I've seen because I know this bag has come out before in performance twill so let's just kind of jump into the bag and then um, yeah okay so in the exterior, you do get two slip pockets. Okay, so this is the first slip pocket. This slip pocket is big enough to fit your phone. I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max, and this fits perfectly inside, as you can see. Okay, so if you flip the bag to the other side, you also have another slip pocket, and this pocket is a lot wider. Um, it spans from the width to the other width of the bag, okay? And this closure is magnetic. So what I love about this is that you can put your keys on this side. You, I, this side I pretty much use for my phone, but as you can see, I've been keeping my mask in there. And then this is also where I had my tags, so I will just kind of stick those back in there because I saved my tags. Um, I didn't used to, but then I saw that people would save them, and I was like, that's really smart. So you can go back and look um, what things used to cost and what they're called just in case. There's so many patterns that come out. It's eventually you will forget, and so I'm glad that I started saving them. So also in the exterior, you get two straps. These fit well on my shoulder. They are a little bit short, surprisingly, but I am still able to wear it on my shoulder comfortably. Okay, and then it does have some metal hardware. So you can see there. I'm trying to let it focus. And they do say Vera Bradley on the sides here. And you can see on the opposite side, there's also some metal hardware. Okay, and then aside from these straps, because they are short, you know, this bag can be worn, you know, like, the crook of your arm. It can be worn as a shoulder bag and this is what it would look like. Um, but this bag also comes with a detachable shoulder strap. So you can see right here. So this is, this is a really nice addition because many times um, you wanna just wear things crossbody. It's a lot easier. So it does have two metal D-rings that you can attach the strap to and they are right here on each side of the bag. So here's one, and here is the second one. And so this is actually a really comfortable wear if you're doing crossbody style. I wore it for the first time yesterday. And this is how it looks. So let's dive to the inside of the bag. So you open it up and it is very spacious, super spacious. I'm able to fit a large 
cosmetic, oh gosh, my pen flew out. I'm able to fit a large cosmetic in the main compartment. This is the VV Large Cosmetic in Petite Garden. And that's what it looks like without the cosmetic. The interior pattern is so cute. It is called Forbidden Forest Ditzy and it features Hedwig all over the place with some mushrooms and florals. It is, it is just, it's beautiful. So on the back side, you do have a zipper compartment. It's kind of hard to see, but there it is. And that is where I like to store um, my detachable strap. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take that off and put it in the zipper already because I think it would be easier to show you all the bag without the strap flapping around everywhere. So there's the strap in the zipper. And then as you can see on the opposite side, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the bag over. You have two slip compartments. These slip compartments are very spacious. I'm able to fit my two zip IDs in one compartment, okay? So these are the other um, Forbidden Forest items that I picked up. Uh, this is the Zip ID in Forbidden Forest Ditzy. You can see Hedwig everywhere. And then on the strap, you do see where it says Vera Bradley and Harry Potter. It is in this really nice, it looks like it's glowing, but of course it's not. But it's like in a green, mint green color. You do get a ring that says Vera Bradley on it. And this you can attach to your lanyard or to your keys or anything. And then this is, I, I, use my, I use it as my wallet. So I do have a picture of my dogs on the opposite side because I personally don't like to keep identifiable information on the outside. I just like to keep my doggos. And so this is a second zip ID also in Forbidden Force, but this is in a velvet um, material. And the Hedwig stitched on is so pretty. It feels nice and soft. It's, I don't even think it's, only the edges are embroidered, I think, because Hedwig here, she feels soft like velvet, just like this on the outside. And it is quilted, as you can see. There we go. Okay. And you get the same thing, Harry Potter, and then it says Vera Bradley on the opposite side. And so the other slip pocket, I do have my sunglasses case. This is in Butterfly Buy. I have my Vera Bradley sunglasses in there. The Vera Bradley sunglasses are actually really good, guys. Here they are. This is in Happy Blooms. And I actually had my pen in here, but it like flew out. So keep that in there. And that's it. That's all that I have in the bag currently, but as you can see, it's very spacious. Okay. And the last thing, which I think is the absolute cutest thing, is this Hedwig charm. It's Forbidden Forest bag charm. Um, it is so cute. She's also velvet because she's she feels really soft. Her eyes are embroidered on. All of these details are embroidered. And she is a kiss she's like a kiss lock opening let me go ahead and remove this so i can show you guys oh my goodness so this is what she looks like and this is the back and this is the type of clasp it is I am not really sure what these are called or what type of class this is called, but they're pretty sturdy. I've purchased many Vera Bradley charms um, with this type of clasp in the past, and they've never fallen off of my bags, so I feel really confident in buying these because of that. So this is what the inside looks like. You do have the interior um, in the Itsy Rain Forbidden Forest Ditzy. Oh my goodness, I was trying to combine a bunch of pattern names. So here's the tag, and this, this is 
This one retails for $30, and yeah, it's called the Forbidden Forest Bag Charm. I wish I knew how to get this to focus. And so I haven't kept anything in here. I don't know if I'll put anything in here. I'll probably just keep this solely as like a decorative charm on my bag, but she is pretty um, thick. So you would be able to fit a lot of stuff in here if you do decide to put something in here. I think, you know, a little hand sanitizer, some lip balm. If you want to use it as the coin purse, you can. Um, so yeah. So then this just clips closed. And so now that we have gone over everything that is in the bag, I kind of just want to show you guys the pattern. Um, you can see here the pattern is beautiful it looks so magical um mystical ethereal whimsical all of those are words that i would use to describe this pattern you have hedwig on here you have the hogwarts castle on here it is just it's beautiful there's a lot of little hidden um other characters um, like Fang is on here. I know I have him here somewhere. Where is he? Oh, he was right here at the top. And then you, he's also coming out over here in the back somewhere, right there. So this is pretty much it for this um, Forbidden Forest haul that I picked up. So it did comprise of these four items. The bag, the two zip IDs, because I'm a lover of zip IDs, they're affordable and I love that I, if I really want something and I can't necessarily afford something right away, I can just pick up a zip ID and we're good. So yeah, this, I definitely, I've never had a multi-strap shoulder bag before. I'm so glad I picked it up. It did say when everything launched, this was not available for purchase right away. And so I was kind of bummed about that because when I shop for something, I want to be able to like buy everything that I want, but they have a little notify me when it's in stock button. And so I went ahead and I put my email and I did get a notification super early in the morning. It was about six o'clock in the morning when I received a notification that this became in stock, but it is in stock right now to purchase at the Vera Bradley website. And um, anyways, guys, I cannot say enough good things about this bag. It's the perfect size, perfect for a daily carry, perfect carrying crossbody style. And it's just, I, I already see myself purchasing more of this bag and this is probably going to be my go-to style in terms of like my go-to um let's go here let's go there um just like my daily carry i'm a lover of vera totes um i use those predominantly for work but i feel like this is probably going to take the place of all of my like this is probably going to be my favorite bag style for a while unless they come up with something better so Yes, guys, I definitely recommend you guys check out this line, check out this bag if you're interested in a daily carry, because like I said, it does fit, it fits a lot. So if you guys have any questions or comments, you can just leave them down below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Thanks, guys. Bye.